So I'm here with Amber Christie, and I want to talk a little bit of data and a little bit of hotel with you. So first, how would you characterize a data-driven program? Okay. Wow. Well, Chad, um, we use data in our hotel spend management uh, practice to really measure the performance of our customers' preferred hotel programs. Um, and we, we find some interesting insights, actually. Um, what we're seeing is that about 28% of the time, uh, the discounted rates that our customers are negotiating, and we're negotiating on their behalf, are actually not even available. And about half the time, those discounts are really netting about 10% or less off of the best available rate. So what that tells us is that the, the rates out there are not always that competitive. Hotels are not making them available, and when they are making them available, they're not always um, at the rate that's negotiated. And how we use that data is to measure the performance of the program, go out and when hotels are not honoring that discount or the discount's not really all that competitive, we go out, we renegotiate on their behalf. Um, sometimes we might actually have the customer de-promote um, the hotel within their online booking tool, remove, remove preferred flags, or even drop that hotel if, if, you know, in rare instances where the hotel's just not getting that rate loaded. Okay, so what new solutions or, or news are coming out of the hotel category that you can tell us about? We have a couple of new exciting things actually. Um, one is our market rate dashboard that's available to our Dynamic Performance Management Plus customers. And that's where we get a lot of those insights that I just talked about, about the competitiveness of the hotel discounts that are being offered, about how often they're actually made available. Um, that is available now to our consultants that are you know, supporting our customers, but it's also gonna be available to our customers themselves. They'll have access to that data real time at their fingertips trip tips and it will also give them um, not only insights on how their preferred program is performing but also some recommendations on how they can optimize their savings so that's available now we're rolling it out to customers um, and then the second thing I'm really excited about is hotel boost Hotel Boost is coming out later this year. We'll be launching it. And it is our self-service um, toolkit, kind of suite of products to help small to medium-sized businesses um, manage their, their hotel category. So within Hotel Boost, members will get access to um, training courses on how to build and execute their hotel strategy. They'll get access to um, a community of peers along with access to our hotel experts to kind of ask questions, connect with online. There'll be monthly live uh, web streams on different topics. And then the two really kind of cool things that are gonna come available for Hotel Boost customers are access to that market rate dashboard that we just talked about and a new self-service RFP tool that is powered by Vindo. So it's really gonna give members of Hotel Boost all of the tools and technology that they need to manage the hotel category on their own. Exciting insights and exciting things to come. Thanks so much.